Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and today is Sunday, which means, hey, it's time for another mailbox cleanup for the 200 run series. Uh, last week, we added the Mechanar to our cells, which every single week we're adding one dungeon, only one, even though we're ahead. Uh, so that way we can better track everything and see how our cells improve each week. So we kind of have that data. Uh, of course, right after we're done with this, which the goal cap is, of course, 10 million. Uh, we're actually going to do the same thing, except for we're just going to be adding stuff like right away. Just to kind of see, you know, how quickly we can actually hit the gold cap without, you know, the restriction of only adding one dungeon each week. Um, so it's going to probably be a little bit slower this first time around, uh, but still it's been going really well. Uh, as you see here with our sheet, we're already at almost 2 million gold. Uh, we're just getting ready to clean out week 12. So hopefully we'll be over 2 million gold after we do the clean out today. Uh, again, we did add the Mechanar this week. Uh, we've already actually finished Stone Core and ZF. We're starting Masters uh, Terrace today, which we actually could have probably been done with that one and even the next one. But if you've been following me on stream, which you can see these done live, uh, and join in and do some laps with us and everything, uh, which the link is down below. Uh, but uh, we actually picked up a little bit of a side project and we were doing Ultimate for 1000 runs and we're going to have videos and everything on that as well to see what we got. Uh, we've only completed 400 so far. Uh, I do have a separate uh, bank off that's holding all that loot right now. Uh, and it's actually been really what good so if you you know are interested in seeing what we can get out of a thousand runs of autumn definitely come join us on stream we'll be picking that back up again today we're going to go back to the 200 run series kind of give us a break from Alderman for a little bit and also at the same time make sure we don't fall behind on this series which I don't think we would I mean we are still all the way down here at Masters Terrace and we have a couple more weeks before that would happen but I like staying ahead uh, but anyway once again let's do a quick recap of how we're doing so far so last week we did make 235,345 gold and just remember too with this this is not saying this dungeon gave us that amount of gold it's just saying that hey we added a dungeon this week and this is what our cells were so we're kind of just tracking how our cells improve as we add another 200 you know runs worth of loot to our cells and we add another dungeon in as well uh, plus it also just helps me keep track of what's next to come uh, as you can kind of see here which is some of I mean I'm kind of cutting off some of this but and there's there's a reason why you might be thinking why wouldn't I just put this column right here on this side uh, well there's a reason why I'm kind of leaving this space open uh, and it's for that next set of 200 runs I want to kind of do like a side by side comparison in order to have enough room here for the screen uh we're actually going to basically be moving all this information over here and then we'll have our new toner runs set here so we can kind of have them side by side and compare uh but anyway uh with all that being said uh we actually made uh there's this is our two rounds we're doing two rounds uh for this so we made uh 107,381 gold last week on Proudmoor. Uh, Thrall made 127,964 gold, and we ended up uh, getting 235,345 gold again. Uh, and that brought us up to almost 2 million at 1,951,981 gold. Uh, so far uh, with the realms, uh, Proudmoor has done slightly better. Uh, it was actually a bigger gap it was like a hundred thousand between the two grant they are still working together the gold cap uh goal you know is them working together to reach that so if they have definitely like high value pieces that one has duplicates of and the other doesn't have any they'll trade between each other to kind of help us reach that goal a little bit faster uh but still we are tracking just to see you know for the data just to see how which realm is doing better uh, but yeah, uh, Thrall has recently been doing better than, you know, Proudmoor, so they've been catching up uh, just slightly better. Uh, but we'll see, you know, what this week brings. Uh, as far as, you know, what we're actually making gold off of is pretty much transmog and materials, not really pets. We did get the pet from the Welling Caverns farm, but... Uh, and we've seen some of those sell, but it's really not that impactful to actually put a whole nother category like we would when we were multi-boxing. But... 
Uh, we have made 1.6 million, almost 1.7 million with Transmog alone. Majority of our gold is going to come from Transmog just because we are just running dungeons. Uh, we have though made 260,000 gold in materials. Uh, some of the you know dungeons that we have made the most gold with materials has been uh, like Darmal East. Uh, granted, that's the reason why we started with that farm, uh, just so we would have some spare gold in case the sales were bad and we were. You know having to put out more gold just for posting you know more so than actually making uh but really wasn't necessarily the case i mean it was kind of low with our transmog sales those first two weeks um but we still did have some uh as we had about eighty thousand gold just in you know materials so beyond that you know that was transmog sales and then you know really no material uh sales here <laughs> besides like a couple thousand maybe uh and then you see our sales, you know, just from there, just start picking up. Uh, we did have one bad week after Manitoons, but I think that was more so with Plunderstorm. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think that was a, a factor there. But anyway, it's been going well. We're only, you know, 8 million gold left to make here before we hit our goal, which still might take a little while. <laughs> <laughs> uh so the, yeah that's why i kind of expanded our list here too uh because i feel like uh we may actually finish it before we hit our gold cap uh or our goal and then um so we may need more dungeons and then it may even just turn out that we actually just start going through the list again but there is a lot of outlands dungeons and other dungeons that we haven't been able to capture anyway and i would like to kind of hit a good majority of them almost all dungeons uh, i wouldn't say necessarily every single one but uh there are some that i would like to still hit so i want to expand here a little bit uh but anyway with all that being said uh let's go ahead and uh get to our first bank call before we do though i would like to mention if you haven't already go check out uh gamingherohero.io if you are looking for any guides to help you out with your goal making away from youtube uh definitely uh may you know be something there that you can use uh they are doing some updates recently so check it out uh there is also some premium guides if you would like to get a membership just remember to use code word potato and you get a little bit of a discount on that all right well back to the video let's go ahead and take a look at our first bank call and i did actually log on to the right one this time <laughs> with our low value bank call here and let's see what we got uh, so Proudmoor, this is the loot basically we get from our Alliance Druid when we're running our Alliance Druid. Uh, Grant, like I said, they will trade some things. I don't really necessarily pick into the low value stuff with them trading between each other unless it's something that really stands out, but it's, it's mostly the high value. Um, so really this is kind of just the loot that the Alliance Druid has brought us uh, versus what the or drew has brought us uh, when we switch over to thrall but anyway do got some sales 22 sales at 39,535 gold not bad at all uh let's see blood spatter loincloth uh really low for that 474 again it is just low value stuff so not really too worried about what stuff kind of sells for it's anything under 20,000 gold in value or over 5,000 gold in value gargoyles bite though not bad at all almost nine thousand gold uh prospector boots uh over eight thousand gold as well not bad uh some really really low stuff again a blood spatter loincloth for only 474 uh and things have sold really low on proud more in the past so there there could be some low sales here uh for that reason too but uh but not bad for these two right here over eight thousand uh schematic for dark iron bomb um that came from brd i believe almost a thousand uh let's see feral harness sold two of those for almost four thousand gold not too bad uh let's see sky strider uh katana i think that may have came from one of the outland dungeons not 100 percent on that but 1600 uh the book from dire mall uh only almost four thousand gold um again kind of low but still we've got so many of these books i mean we still have what is that 61 books <laughs> left you know between our two druids so we've got plenty of these not worried about selling uh, for that low i have sold them for over thirty thousand gold i've sold them on average maybe in the past around 17 here recently they have sold kind of low we did actually have one sell for thirty thousand. we did a clean out though but uh but yeah not not stressing over that we've got plenty 
creeper uh claw knuckles that definitely that came from iron docks uh 2000 gold so not bad not bad starting out with our high value or low value transmog uh let's go ahead and put that on our sheet here 39 535 right so or you know that's going to uh almost put us breaking even at only 8 million needed so really good there uh, so almost 2 million made so far. Let's go ahead and clean this out. All right. And switch to keyboard. And let's switch over to our high value transmog paint tune to see if we got some exciting sales over there. That's where all the exciting stuff is, of course, <laughs> if we sell anything. Um, so yeah, this is anything over 20,000 in value. And here we go. We've got 92,073 gold, so not bad. Uh, definitely uh, better than what I think uh, Problem has been doing in the past. Um, so seven cells. Still would like to have reached that number with a lower amount of cells, so it means we've had more value per item sold. But let's see what we got here. This was T pattern sold. Uh, so those come out of the lock boxes when we're getting them. Uh, so just a little something extra, not bad at all. 15,000 gold for that one. Uh, Dark Iron Baby Booties, we got those for over 9,000 gold. Those came from BRD doing the vault. And we only did the vault one uh, one time out of 10 runs uh, when we were doing it. So so not bad. And we still got more left over as well. Aboriginal loincloth, one of the lower loincloths, uh, just above the blood spattered one, uh, almost 4,000 gold. Uh, so not too worried about that. I mean, that's just right above the 20,000. Um, Lirius Shining Circlet. Uh, 47,500 gold. Uh, so that came from Iron Docks. That was one of the epic helps. Uh, so a little lower than its value, but still, I, I'm okay with that. It's not bad at all. Um, for, for what the item is. Uh, it's probably not seeked after as much as, say, like, Black Rock Bulwark or even, like, an epic item from Classic or something. So, uh, I think the value's, like... 200,000 or, or something like that. So I'm, I mean, I know that's kind of a lot lower than say like 200,000, but I'm, I'm still okay with that. Uh, F Figators, uh, blade. Um, I'm pretty sure that came from BFD It's the little dagger. It's like the cheapest, one of the cheapest high, high value items from BFD. Uh, 1000 gold, uh, thistle tea, two more patterns. These ones only for about 7,000. So we sold these two together for about as much as that one. But still, we've we've got uh, quite a bit of those, and we've got them from lock boxes, so I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, granted, they do have a value of about eighty thousand or ninety thousand gold, um, but still, they do not sell usually as fast as you really like them to, and you get so many from your lock boxes. Uh, I'm not stressing that at all. So not bad, ninety two thousand seventy three gold. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that on our sheet here. And that's going to put us over 100,000 gold already. So hopefully Thrall can keep this momentum going with the sales here. 131,608. Um, we do still, of course, have to check materials before we switch to Thrall. But uh, I'm not thinking materials are going to be that much. Cause, uh, we just added Mechanar, so um, there's not really much as far as we can uh oh did we clean out we did clean out low value didn't we sure <laughs> so we have mail maybe we already made a sell afterwards anyway <laughs> let's see here we've got 6748 gold uh so maybe still a little better than i was uh considering actually this week thrall is probably definitely gonna be lower than uh crown more because if you remember the the loot video uh there were some items i accidentally vendored on my hoarder that's that's okay it's still it's just material it's not a big difference uh so 6748 gold uh probably not gonna be anywhere near what we made last week uh after adding dire mall because we had those caches that gave us all those materials but we did get things like the fell arm nets and you see we sold those uh some fury signets uh marks of sargeras and that's where i'm going to be missing cells is these two right here with our horde druid which yeah it's about four thousand gold <laughs> so it's really not too too bad um uh, dragon teeth and and uh core of earth and red dragon scales those all came from 
other farms like um the red dragon scales i know that was from iron dot or not iron docks but um dire Mall. uh this probably was too so um so just some leftovers from that but then we got our fell armnets uh sold 67 for 1500 another smaller one uh primal nether that came from the last boss of uh doing the mechanar uh arcane tomes some fury signets 1300 gold for um over 2,000 of them. They're really low in value, though. Marks and Sargeras, they're not bad. 1,000 of them for over 3,000 gold. So, yeah. Really wish I wouldn't have, uh, you know, would have kept those at least uh, for my other bank alt. But it is what it is. So, 6,748 gold. Go ahead and add that in here. So, right now, we are currently at 138,356 gold made. Clean that out. And... We will go ahead and come back with our Horde Druid and see how well they did. All right, guys. So here we are. We're now on Thrall and we're with our low value bank tune uh, for them. Uh, so this is the stuff that our Horde Druid gave us. Uh, let's go ahead and see how they compare to Proudmoor and our Alliance Druid. So we've got 13 cells. Not as good as Proudmoor this uh, week. 18,942 gold. Uh, 13 cells. Still not bad for you know 13 cells you know being over a thousand gold average per cell um so let's see though what we got we got bone chewer spike gloves uh over seven thousand gold not bad um not quite sure bone chewer bone chewer i mean is that iron docks is or is that actually that might be outland as well i think that is outland bone chewer sounds possibly like outland i could be wrong <laughs> but yeah not bad if it is um and then the taj uh quarterstaff now that is i, I know that's outland um so not bad that we did possibly sell some of those items from the mechanar uh even though it's just low value stuff uh almost four thousand gold i always love it though when we can sell something from the dungeon we did even though I remember the loot video wasn't the greatest uh with the outland dungeons but we do get some stuff but uh still either way whenever we can sell something from the dungeon we just did i, I love it uh creeper claw great sword definitely came from iron dock so 1000 gold uh let's see chest card of illumination it's kind of a lower one 700 gold but i'm almost certain that is actually from um uh the mechanar as well I could be wrong there uh let's see here jade shoulders um dire mall uh let's see blood spatter loincloth L at least a little bit better here 2500 gold <laughs> still kind of low though we've definitely sold them for more uh but they're selling kind of low here right now and just some really 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 low stuff ah oh, stocky pauldrons uh 950 gold <laughs> oh man uh but anyway yeah let's uh let's go ahead and uh clean add that to our sheet and then clean it out uh nothing really nothing else really worth going over here but uh still not bad we made some gold that's that's the main part all right and it's just gonna add to our total if we can at least get up to like two hundred thousand gold you know keep it around that area you know we're, we're golden uh so yeah we'll clean that out and let's go ahead and switch on over to our high value bank tune. See what we got over here. See if we got anything exciting. I mean, they, they did fairly well last week and you know, they've been doing fairly well with the high value transmog over here on Thrall. So um, it's actually, you know, this week, Primor actually did okay with the high value transmog. And uh, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, third, oh, it's kind of low this time. Um, so I guess if Primor does well, then Thrall tanks the thrall does good then prowl more tanks <laughs> is, that, is that the way it works out can we have them both like work really good one week uh, maybe that'd be nice but anyway uh 32,298 gold six sales uh let's see what we did sell though here sold the pattern for the guardian belt only 5,000 gold really can't remember the value of that one if it's really high or not so <laughs> hopefully that wasn't a really bad sell it may be though uh aboriginal loincloth against the lower loincloth of the high value ones um 5, gold it actually used to be a low value loincloth anyway it used to be under twenty thousand, but um it recently just went above it so that's really i'm not that's not bad uh thistle tea oh really low over here oh, almost five thousand gold Saltstone surcoat only six thousand gold it's only valued at about 
I think like what 30,000 gold now so it's really not horrendous there the gauntlets though um those are valued at like 50,000 oh, cool cool we'll have loved to have seen about 10,000 or so with that but still 6,000 gold we'll take it transmute life to earth only 3,800 it's really low for that but uh, again these are a really slow seller so I I'm not too disappointed really too disappointed with any of these possibly other than this one because um, I can't really recall the value of this one <laughs> <laughs> it may have been better to really get a higher value sell with this one than than only about you know 5700 it was actually probably 6000 gold before the auction house cut yeah well 599 yeah pretty much there uh but yeah well uh you know i really just like to see i mean i think the only time we've actually seen like a high value transmog piece like like a real high what i mean by that is like one of those really valuable pieces sell was last week when we sold that you know like the specific blues like that's what i mean by those like i haven't really seen us sell any specific blue items um uh, like of really true you know good value except for last week we actually sold uh the bone slasher from uh, rfd uh so really would like to see a lot more of these moving because you, I mean, you see we got all these duplicates uh, <laughs> of a lot of these in in the uh the you know bags here and it's just like man if we could see some more of these moving uh we would actually probably see a lot better sales but anyway that's uh <laughs> neither here nor there uh let's go ahead and add this in thirty-two thousand two ninety-eight. all right and we'll clean that out no, you're wrong. We've been seeing really good sales. We just, um, it'd be nice to see some of those, those items that you get all excited about. See some of those sell, like, you know, was really excited to see the bone slasher sell last week. Uh, again, you know, with those items though, they can, they can take a while to sell and we may see some next week, we may see some a few weeks from now. Uh, it can take a while to sell. All right, so materials for thrall, like I said, it's going to be a little bit lower. 2,251 gold, five sales. We don't have any of the um, marks of Sargeras or the uh, the other the rings the, for, for the other faction. But anyway, we did again some red dragon scales. They were a little slower sell, seller from when we did Diamond North. Uh, so we sold the rest of them here. Fell armnets uh, sold 41 for over a thousand. Then another stack of 21 for. 596 primal another one you had two this time and then our arcane tomes 162 for 269 uh so still not bad only about four thousand or so less than what we actually had with proud more um and granted we have had about you know three thousand from marks of sargeras like we did with proud more and it'd be at about five so it'd be about similar um so not a whole not a whole big difference it would make in our you know total here but anyway we'll clean that out bring our sheet back up and see how well we did this week definitely uh not as well as we did last week still almost almost made our 200,000 that we're striving to make we only made uh 191,847 gold 182,848 gold with transmog eight almost 9,000 with um you know materials granted this could have been you know what 1000 from the signets and the marks of sargeras another 3000 so maybe about another 4000 will put us uh put us at like 195 so we've still been under 200,000 gold but still not bad not bad uh does put us now over 2 million gold 2.1 million gold uh which leaves us with a little over seven you know not a little <laughs> it's actually quite a bit over seven million but seven million eight hundred fifty six thousand one hundred seventy two gold left to make before we hit our gold uh for our goal here of 10 million uh let's go ahead and add this in over here the 235 345 or no oops it's wrong oh, that was last week uh, so we made 191, 847. Okay. Uh, so right now we now made uh, 1,874,680 gold in transmog alone. We've made 269,148 gold with materials. Uh, as far as our realms go, 
this week we only made 53,491 goal withdrawal that's that's kind of hurt us we would have been you know right there where they were last week uh as they made over 120,000 uh, last week uh we'll definitely been over 200,000 and probably did better than what we did last week uh as you know Brownmore more stepped it up making you know 30,000 more than what they made last week. Uh, they still didn't have a bad week last week either because they were over 100,000 last week as well. Uh, this now increases how much more Proudmore has made for us over top of what Thrall has made. But each realm has made us over a million gold now. Uh, Proudmore at 1,114,704 gold and Thrall at 1,029,124 gold. Uh, we have now made a total of 2,143,828 gold. So not bad, not bad. 12 weeks in, uh, that's that's really not a bad amount between just two realms. Of course, I'm making more gold than that because I am actually selling on other realms. Um, and, but yeah, that's, that's not bad. We did actually also this week, we had a day that I didn't post anything, do anything. Uh, it was what, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. I, I was actually pretty sick this week. Um, and so, yeah, I couldn't even uh, get, gather the strength to get on to post my auctions or do anything. Um, yeah, because I was just feeling so bad. It was, it was, it was very rough. Uh, but yeah, not saying that one day we will have even made any sales, but it could have had a factor with some of it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to happen. You're going to have days and things you can't post or do, you know, IRL stuff comes up. Uh, but still, I'm not, I'm not upset with that. I mean, of course, at least it wasn't down to the 88,000 that we had after Manitums. We, you know, are still close to that 200,000 amount. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, anyway, guys, so uh, that is going to be about it for this one. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for dungeons to fill in these gaps. Or, you know, I might even move some of these around, especially since we're doing like 1,000 runs of Ultimate now and some of these really rare drop dungeons. Although, Ultimate, even with our very first 100 runs for our 1,000 series, has actually been pretty good. <laughs> so, it was pretty surprising. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're uh, I'm gonna try to fit in some more Outland dungeons, even though they've been pretty bad. It's still good data for us to know just how good or bad they are. Uh, and I may actually, you know, I'm already considering changing ramparts uh, to something else here. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, let me know what you think. Something I should maybe add in here and maybe move around, whichever we got some more room here now uh, for upcoming dungeons for this series. Uh, but uh, just a reminder, there are the links down below for Twitch. If you want to come join us live, come do some lags with us. We'll be doing Master's Terrace tonight. Uh, and also, if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up so that you let me know that you like it. And also, definitely um, leave in the comments down below what you might like to see as far as, you know, changes to our list here as far as upcoming dungeons. And also, guys, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And don't forget, tomorrow is the loot video for Stonecore, so you don't miss that one. Uh, and don't forget to check out GamingHero.io if you are looking for any guides. Um, but other than that, guys, that is going to be it for me today on this one. I will see you all in the next video, and hope to see you guys on stream. See you guys later.